What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to bring you guys a ranked Reggie Steel team for Regulation F. Now, Reggie Steel in past games has always been super, super strong due to its high defense stats, and on top of that, its access to iron defense and body press. You can use iron defense, go plus two on defense, and then use body press for a big amount of damage. But pairing it up today with Glenmora, we can drop Toxic Debris, get some poisons out on the field, and eventually just stall out with Reggie Steel. So, like I said, Reggie Steel is just such a strong Pokemon. Great Pokemon to swap in and out for due to its high defense stats and its ability to just eat up stats. And on top of that, it's going to be a great heavy hitter once you can set up one iron defense. But Reggie Steel's over here rocking clear body as ability, so its stats actually can't be lowered. And on top of that, it's got leftovers to get HP at the end of every single turn. Pair that up with this move setup, body press, heavy slam, iron defense, and protect. This thing makes for a mean Pokemon on the rank ladder. Other Pokemon on today's team is going to be Incineroar. Incineroar's super solid, always great all around. You can lead it with Reggie Steel, drop a fake out, and pretty much get off a free iron defense. We also have Ogre Pond for a little bit of support and some big time attacking. We got Fluttermane with the choice specs, can never go wrong with that. And then we got Latias and Glamora. I really like Latias in Regulation F, super fast Pokemon, can set up Tailwind pretty well, plus it now has access to better psychic moves such as Mist Ball. We're using it today. We got Levitate, Rocky Helmet, Ice Beam, Tailwind, and Recover for its other three moves. Final Pokemon we already mentioned is going to be Glamora, but not just any Glamora. We got Power Herb Glamora. Now, Power Herb Glamora can set up Meteor Beam and just get after it right off the rip. Meteor Beam is a two-turn hitting move that boosts your special attack, kind of like Electro Shot that Arch Ludon's using right now. But add the Power Herb to it, it makes Meteor Beam go in one turn, and then you can just set up that special attack boost and do some big damage from there. He also has Sludge Bomb, Earth Power, and Spike Shield for an amazing moveset. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? The rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match with Reggie Steel. First match coming at you guys with Reggie Steel. But we're going up against a top tier meta team here for Regulation F. They got Hisuian Arcanine, they got Iron Bundle, they're also rocking out with Rillaboom and Incineroar, two big time fake out users. Then on top of that, they got Tornadus and water ogre punch just like us so how should we play this one who should we go into i kind of don't mind reggie steel i like it up against all these pokemon if we except for obviously the fire type pokemon but we have the water terror type to kind of deal with that so reggie steel is going to be a great viable option for us i might want to just lead it i might want to lead it do i lead it i think so i think so so i'm gonna go into reggie steel here turn one and on top of that i might tailwind boost or I could save Reggie Seal for back end Pokemon, which would probably be a little bit better. Because we could just go Latias here. And maybe on top of that, go for like Glimora. That's not bad either. That's not bad either. Because I would love to go Latias, Glimora. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'll bring Reggie Seal in the back end. And then last but not least, either Incineroar. Just for like Intimidates and Fake Outs coming out. Could be really good. Or I could just go Ogre Pond. Because Ogre Pond's typing is actually pretty solid. I mean, Iron Bundle is a Pokemon that we have to worry about, and I feel like we have to bring Fluttermane just because of that. But to be honest, the other three Pokemon are really good. So you know what? I'm just going to go Incineroar here, and I'm going to lock this down. I like it a lot. So they do have Fake Out users, probably leading one, right? Either Rillaboom or Incineroar. So that's something we have to watch out for. They're probably just going to Fake Out uh, Latias at that point, because if they Fake Out my Glamora, we just get off a free Toxic Debris and Toxic Spikes on the field for the rest of the match. So... That works out good. We love Toxic Spikes, but they actually end up with no fake out users, which is a little odd. Definitely a little odd. This thing's gonna boost your energy up, and now we're sitting in a weird position where both of my Pokemon have bad typings, right? Real bad typings, and I would love to set up this Tailwind. Could go Steel typing, but then at that point, actually we have Levitate, which is good. We can't get hit by the ground moves. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually Terrasilize you. And I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to Spiky Shield this turn. I am just going to Spiky Shield this turn. I'll Meteor Beam next turn. But I just want to get off this Tailwind right now, right? Probably the most important thing we could do. So I'm going to go into that Steel Terror type. Such a solid Terror type up against both these Pokemon, especially with Levitate. If I didn't have Levitate, it wouldn't be that bad. But we can't get hit by ground moves, so it works out perfectly. The Latias getting started here. Putting on that lovely little terror type. And I'm just going to throw up a spiky shield on Glamora. Just to kind of read out what they're doing. Trying to see what's going on here. And he's just going to freeze dry this slot. Which I have no problem. No problem with that. Look at that. We soak up all day. And a tailwind's going to fly. 
So we get off this tailwind. Actually, I probably should just attack. I probably should just meteor beam that twin on us, right? Probably. But yeah, they were just doubling down in that. Okay, I don't mind that. So from here, I'm just gonna throw an ice beam four times to reflect it, and meteor beam is cooking. We know this thing's not sashed. We could take it out, but my only problem would be if he outspeeds me. But Ice Beam flying, four times super effective. Get it on at it. You gone. You're a goner. Hot start for us. And Icy Wind's gonna fly here, which I don't mind. I don't mind that too much. He's gonna slow us down a little bit, but we're gonna wave bye bye to uh to Iron Bundle. That thing's getting dumped on. He's a goner. Stab, special attack boost here. You're just dead. You're just dead. So we still have Reggie still in the back end, which is perfect. Um if they do have Pokemon that can rip up into me, I maybe just want to swap into him. But this is just beautiful for us. What a good start. Solid Terror. That Terror type saved us. Terror type really saved us. Really did save us. So now we have off Tailwind. We got two Pokemon down on the field. I'm hoping they bring out a physical attacker. And they set up the Toxic Debris. So Arcanine comes out here. I could swap to Reggie Steel, but mm, is that really my play? Probably not, right? Probably not. I could Intimidate, which could actually be a solid play for me. Into this slot, right? I could just go Intimidate. And then on top of that, just go Earth Power or even Sludge Bomb into this slot. Because they still have Terra. I could see them pulling it out right now. And if that's the case, I kind of just want to go Earth Power, right? Into Arcanine. Then I worried about this thing a little bit, but I'm more so worried about this Arcanine. So actually, I'm going to go Earth Power into Arcanine. I'm going to intimidate both these guys. They're both physical attackers. This is just going to be a solid swap for us. Both these Pokemon are actually really strong and really annoying towards me. But if I can just get rid of the Arcanine, I know my Registeel can really just come in the back end. And 1v1 this Ogre Pond, no problem. So Ogre Pond, definitely going to get that terror, right? Yeah. It's over. You can tell by the sound at the end of the terror type. And that's exactly why I didn't want to sludge bomb into that slot. That's exactly why I went for Earth Power and started targeting down to Arcanine. It's because I thought he was going to Terrasalize. It was pretty obvious. So he gets a special defense boost. That's okay. Nothing crazy. And Earth Power is now going to fly. Plus two killing you. Or not plus two. Plus one. But four times super effective. It's killing you all day. So Arcanine, goner. Lovely. And he's just going to go for an Ivy Cudgel into... This slot. Okay, so you're dead, right? Yeah, you're dead. But that's all good. Now I get to bring out my boy Reggie Steel. And I get to fake out and just set up an iron defense. Right? Easy turn, right? Unless they cancel. But yeah, that's definitely gonna be my turn now. We got our stall Pokemon in the back end. This thing's minus one. I get to bring out the Reggie Steel. Look at my boy. Reggie Steel, baby. <laughs> Looking good. But yeah, this is just an easy fake out turn. Set up an iron defense. Start boosting our body press, and we'll go for later, right? It's perfect. It's perfect. Simple turn. Now, Reggie Steel, rocking out here, match number one, having him in the back end, and that's kind of how I like to play him. More as a back end Pokemon. It seems to work out better for me if I get him in the back end and just use him late game. It's just so perfect. But from here, I guess we'll just go for a parting shot, maybe? I could actually hard swap into you, but this match is over. It really doesn't matter. I'll try to go for a partner shot, but I'll just start body pressing with my Registeel. Kind of getting after it, right? Yeah, they just cancel battle after that. Moving on to our second match, trying to use Registeel a bit more here. We're going up against Tinkathun T. Now, Tinkathun, pretty strong Pokemon. Nothing crazy. It's a decent fake out user, but they also have other Pokemon on this team that I got to worry about. They got the Ogre Pond, or I should say Fire Ogre Pond, which is a big time physical attacker. They also have Fluttermane. They got Urshifu. They're also rocking out with Ursulina and Freegrave. Now, Ogre Pond is going to be really good here. Really, really powerful. You're really good up against the, uh, the Ogre Pond. It's going to be solid up against Urshifu because it's probably Water Urshifu and I have Water Absorb. And it's going to also be super effective onto that Ursulina. So, Ogre Pond's an absolute must to bring here. Do I lead it is the question. We might need some speed control, so I could go into Latias, which would be okay. I could go with Latias again alongside maybe with Registeel, but at that point, not really. I don't want to do that. Or I could go Registeel Incineroar. That's something I actually like a bit more. That is definitely something I like a bit more. Yeah, I'm going to go into both of them. Bring Ogre Pond in the back end, and then last but not least, either Fluttermane or Glimora. I'm kind of leaning towards Fluttermane just to that. Just because of that high speed and high special attack. 
really can't go wrong with it, right? So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Look to go in with Reggie Steel for the lead. The last match we brought him in as back end, and then like I said, I like to usually bring Reggie Steel in the back end. So we're giving it a little bit of a different approach here. Because it can be used in the front. It can be used as the lead to set up the iron defense and pretty much just be bulky for the rest of the match. They do have a lot of physical attackers, but another problem is Urshifu. Like those crits are just dangerous. They'll hit through my defense boost, but I do have Ogapon to kind of counter that. Let's see who they end up leading. And it's going to be Farigaraf and Urshifu. Farigi and Urshifu. So from here, I can't fake out, which kind of annoying. I do get off an Intimidate, which isn't bad. Um, I could Terrastalize if I want to. I could definitely Terrastalize. I could just start going for body presses if I want to. Oh, this is Dark Urshifu. That's Dark Urshifu, right? Is Dark Urshifu. Do I just start body pressing? I'm gonna set up this Iron Defense. I'm gonna go Iron Defense here. Actually, I'm gonna Terrasalize and go for Iron Defense. Just so the fighting move doesn't just rip into me. So Terrasalize, Iron Defense coming out here. Um, and I'm just gonna go for a knockoff on the free graph. Just take off this item. Ends up withdrawing. That's actually really solid for me. I didn't have to terrestrialize at all. That's a little tough. Let's see who he ends up going into. Ursaluna. And actually, that's fine that we terrestrialize. That's fine because Ursaluna would be super effective onto, onto my Reggie Shield with the ground moves. So by terrestrializing into this, we should be fine. But we get the knock off that Furgraph's item, which is pretty solid. Body press isn't bad into Ursaluna, unless it's a ghost type, right? Unless it's a ghost type. We do some big time damage on the Frigraph, and they probably go for a trick room here, right? Most likely go for a trick room. Yeah, so they set up the trick room. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. Ursaluna probably goes first. I really want to body press you, but I feel like you have a ghost type, right? I feel like you have to have a ghost terror type. And I might just double down into the slot. I could party shot. I'm gonna double down into the slot. Just in case he goes into the ghost terror type, we have knockoff flying in that slot too. So here's the terror type. It's probably ghost terror type. We should just move the lead, right? It's definitely ghost. No, it's normal. Actually, okay, this works out perfectly fine. So he goes into the normal terror type. Probably looking to dump on Reggie Steel with a blood moon, right? Yeah, and Reggie Steel's gonna die here. Reggie Steel's dead. He's dead. You're not surviving. Oh, it's a hyper boost. Hold up. Can you can you guys survive this? You do. Okay, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's actually massive. That's massive. Because I got citrus berry. I got leftovers for Reggie Steel. I'll just protect next turn. But we should be able to just chunk up and potentially just KO this uh this Reggie or this Pokemon, right? Oh, we leave it on like one. I would have loved for my knockoff to slide over into that other slot. We leave him on one. Nice little one HD bandit, but big time us eating that shot up. I really thought he was just gonna go Blood Moon into my Reggie Steel. Works out pretty well. He had Life Orb as well. That's crazy. So from here, we're gonna leftovers up. I'm gonna protect Reggie Steel this next turn because I do believe they bring out Urshifu again. I do believe they bring out Urshifu. And honestly, Trick Room would help us out, but Sucker Punch looking quite scary. No, they end up going into Ogre Pond here. Ogre Pond gonna be a tough little customer. Um, how many turns are left in this trick room? Three. The three turns left in this trick room, nice little protect is probably our best bet here. Right? Get some HP back. <clears throat> and then from here, we just go for a knockoff to finish off this thing, correct? I think that's good. I like that turn. So I'll protect the Reggie Seal. We'll see what Ogre Pond wants to do here. He's just gonna spike shield. This is, this is a really good turn for us. Wasting out the spike shield. Reggie Steel getting after it. <clears throat> Knockoff coming in hot here. Taking out Frigoraf, and it's actually great that Incineroar is outspeeding Frigoraf in the trick room. So now they have two rather fast Pokemon, Urshifu and Ogre Pond. And we have two turns of trick room left that is gonna be free for our. Uh, it's gonna be free for our. What's it called? Our Reggie. Or our guys who just attack. Our Reggie Steel and our Incineroar. So now they go back into Urshfu. And this might just be a good turn to body press, but you have a chance to protect, so we might just want to double down an Ogre Pond here. 
Because with Urshifu in the back end, I'm really not worried about it with Ogre Pond and Fluttermane. We should be fine. Right? We should be fine. They don't have Terra. I think there's a chance that you detect. So, I mean, we should probably just go into Body Press here. And on top of that, just Flare Blitz and double down into this guy. Just get rid of him. I think that's your best bet. They don't detect, but hey, we're still doubling down into this Pokemon. And just getting rid of the Ogre Pond. So, that's a great turn. Great lead for us to go Reggie Steel and Incineroar and just rip and match them with him. Absolutely rip. I love it. So chances are he's going for Wicked Blow here. He's going to take out my Registeel with the crit. No, you take out my Incineroar. So you leave my Registeel on the field, and we're going to win this match, no problem. No problem. Registeel staying in the whole battle. We love it. We love it. So defense gets dropped. We're going to throw out Fluttermane, and I already know exactly what's going to happen. Once we throw out Fluttermane, he's just going to run the battle. But to be honest, I'm not going to throw out Fluttermane. I should. But I want to get off one more body press with Reggie Steel for you guys. So I'm going to throw out Ogre Pond just so maybe he'll stay in the battle. And then I'll just go for body press and follow me here, right? Hopefully he stays in. He's going to detect. It's fine. It's fine. He's going to waste out the last turn in Trick Room. And guess what, guys? We're just going to go for another follow me and another body press. And we're going to wrap it up. So yeah, if I would have thrown out Fluttermane there, they would have just canceled the battle, no problem. But now, since I threw out Ogre Pond, they're like, hey, maybe we have a shot. But they, they don't have a shot. They, they don't have a singular shot. Their chances of winning is negative 5%. Negative 5%. It's crazy. But Body Press, follow me, comes out here. Are you going to cancel battle now? They cancel it now. Come on, man. We are lighting it up on the rank ladder with Reggie Steel today. Hopefully, looking for a 3-0 record. I would love to grab ourselves a 3-0 record. But we're going up against Meta. Straight meta, Incineroar, Fluttermane, Iron Hands, alongside Urshifu, Tornadus, and Landorus. So, Ogre Pond, gonna be great here. Definitely want to bring in Registeel again, just because I love this Pokemon. I really do like this Pokemon, especially up against a lot of them, or their Pokemon, I should say. I just like Registeel with its Terror type. So, I'm gonna go Registeel again. I'm also gonna lead Incineroar. Yes, that's something I like. I'm gonna go Incineroar. I'm gonna go Registeel here. And then in the back end, we're going to go Ogre Pond. And last but not least, probably Fluttermane, right? Fluttermane or Glamora. Nice little special attacker. And obviously, Fluttermane screams to us, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's like Fluttermane is just its so goaded. You cannot go wrong with it. Whenever I just need a, another Pokemon, Fluttermane's uh, like, it's just an obvious choice. Just like, okay, go Fluttermane. It can do everything. It can, it can put up a fight up against any Pokemon. It's just so powerful and so good all around. It's one of the best Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. Arguably the best Pokemon in all of Scarlet and Violet. Since it's been released in Rank 2, right? Well, not Rank 2, Series 2. Whatever you want to call it. Because when this game first released, you weren't allowed to use Paradox Pokemon. For a good reason, they're OP. They're so much stronger than the other Pokemon. But now that they put them in there, they're just in the meta. They're just top tier. But we go Registeel. We end up going with... With Incineroar here. Um, I could fake out Urshifu here, which wouldn't be a bad turn for us. Fake out an Iron Defense. Something I really like. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And we'll go from there. I like that. I like that a lot. We might Terrasilize our Reggie still next turn. We'll see. Because we could go into the Water Tire type, which is solid. But they're just going to end up withdrawing Urshifu. The Urshifu gets to withdraw, and they're going to go into Landers. So they're just going to intimidate us back. Not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. I got clear body. I got clear body. And I'm just parting shot with my Incineroar next turn. That's not bad. So we'll chunk up some damage on the landers with that. We'll go. Oh, you're going to a taunt. That's something we don't like. And you kind of just screwed me over there. Dang, man. <laughs> There's nothing else I can say about that. That's tough. I was looking good. I was looking good before the taunt. That's really tough. That's really tough. Do I just end up hard swapping Registeel? <laughs> Yo, that's so tough. That's so tough. Um, I could go into Ogre Pond. Yeah, I am going to go into Ogre Pond. I don't think they go for a Blink Windstorm here. I think they set up a Tailwind. At this point, I just parting shot into you. Yes. Maybe I should bring back out Registeel. I could. That hurts soul, man. That hurts soul. I was ready to set up that defense boost and get 
rolling with this Pokemon. They do end up going for a Bleak Wind Storm. And Ogre Pond dodges. That's huge. And in okay, I'll take that all day. And Incineroar dodges. EQ's gonna fly. Incineroar, can you soak? I hope so. Nah, no, you don't stand a chance. You don't stand a chance. It's okay. It happens. It happens. So now I have Ogre Pond out here. Ready to go. I could actually Terrastalize it. I could go back and Registeel if I want to. <clears throat> but maybe I should just go into Fluttermane and save Registeel. Save the Steel guy. Yeah, we're just going to save the Steel guy, even though Earth is a little, little bit of an issue. <clears throat> now, the real thing is, do I Terrastalize? Do I Terrastalize in the water? Yes. And we just look to KO you? Yes. And then we just go for a Moonblast? Yes. And we go after you. Okay. That's our play. We're going to Terrastalize. We're going to get rid of our Grass Typing, so we can, on top of that, get rid of our Flying Weakness, so Bleak Storm's not doing crazy amounts of damage to us. And we get a Special Defense boost. But yo, if I got off that Iron Defense, that would have been great for us. Really taunting me turn one. Smart play on our opponent's end. But he ends up just protecting Lando. That's all good. Nothing crazy. Um, I think he still goes for a Bleak Wind Storm. No, he just sets up a Tailwind. So, again, that's nothing crazy. Uh, I could see him hard swapping into Urshifu. Or I say back into Urshifu at this point. And from here, I might just go into a Horn Leech at that point, right? Makes a bit more sense to go into Horn Leech. Because I am going to switch to Dazzling Gleam. Actually, I'm choice spec. choice spec but yeah i'm still just gonna go into a horn leech here let me see that pokemon one more time yeah really the only person they could swap into would be incineroar i don't mind that i, I might just double down in the lando here because what's tornado tornado is just gonna drop a bleak storm is it really gonna do anything crazy to me maybe not really good hard swap in the reggie steel you know, I'll just take out Tornadus. So he ends up staying in here. We should have just stuck with the Ivy Cudgel. The Fluttermane actually ends up dodging. My speed's gonna drop. And the EQ's gonna fly from Lando. Ogre Pond, can you soak? Things oh, you get a crit on my Ogre Pond. Get on out of here. You get a crit on my Ogre Pond. I thought Ogre Pond maybe had a, had a chance to soak there, but now. Nope. This thing is Life Orb too, so it probably was dead anyway. He ends up staying in there. We get a crit when this thing is on 1 HP. It means nothing. And now I'm forced to just go into Registeel. And Registeel really can't do much up against these guys, right? Yeah, this match is wraps. We're going to end up getting smacked up on here in match number 3. Hopefully you guys still enjoyed today's video. And I'm going into Fluttermane, though. Giving me a shot. Somewhat of a shot, right? No, not really, because he's just going to go probably protect EQ. Makes the most sense. Protect EQ. I'm just gonna go into Heavy Slam here. And if I can go ahead with this Moonblast, that'd be nice. That would be lovely. But yeah, this one's just wraps. 2 1 for today's video. I'm saying it. I'm saying now, if I somehow win this match, our opponent is terrible. But nah, they're playing good. That taunt first turn was just top tier. But yeah, saw that coming all day. Protect EQ. Wrap it up. Unless we somehow jump over the CQ. Nah, yeah, we're dead. We're dead. Fluttermane's dead. Registeel takes big time damage. And then Registeel just gets protected on. But yeah, I seen them just protecting EQ from a mile away. But that was really our only way of somehow winning this game, right? Not happening. But GG's to our opponent. Solid little match there. I'm just going to end up running this one. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, 2-1 winning record on the rank ladder with Registeel. I feel like I showcased this Pokemon really well in match number one. We used it as a back-end Pokemon, coming in late game clean of the mess. And in match number two, we took the lead with it. Set up an iron defense and really just steamrolled opponents from there. Match number three, didn't go so hot. Our opponent just taunted us and kind of countered us really, really hard. And just played a good match all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.